We were working on ER, which I was going to direct as a feature film that Michael Crichton had written about his own experiences in medicine when he was an intern. And I asked him one day what he was doing next, what kind of book was he writing? And he said, all I can tell you, because all my books are secret, this book is about dinosaurs and DNA. And it changed my life because I immediately lost interest in ER as a movie and started pumping him for news about what this was all about. And that was the beginning of evolving Jurassic Park into a film. It was the first time I remember openly defying my parents. Uh, I, I was about 15 years old, maybe 16, and I was grounded from seeing movies for several weeks. And a friend of mine worked at the movie theater and told me, you know, we're gonna screen Jurassic Park at midnight with just the theater employees, if you can get here. Uh, so I snuck out of the house, and I don't encourage other young people to do it, but uh, it was a very indelible memory, and it's one of the most thrilling films ever made. But I didn't just want to infuse the spirit of Jurassic Park into this movie. It was the feeling that I had watching a lot of Steven's movies and the other Amblin movies as a young kid. Ready and action! This movie is more about bringing back the feeling that all of those movies gave me. And it's not something that you can define necessarily, and it's not something you can manufacture. It's about infusing it with a soul. It just makes you feel like you want to be on that adventure with those characters.